If you're struggling to win games and mutt and you need to get your team a little bit better, hit up rockbottomcoins.com. Use code CK for 10% off. Link in the description. Welcome back, you guys. Your boy CK back with another weekly video. Back with another squad builder, and this time I had to be a little bit more pacific in the title and the thumbnail because last time y'all were at me with players that were actually 25 when I was doing a video of players under 25. Now, this time I'm doing a squad builder with players over 30 at every position, so no 30 year olds. Don't at me in the comment section with guys like LaShawn Coy, Matthew Stafford, Josh Norman, Richard Sherman. Please, another quick disclaimer, man every position is going to be based off pretty much last year. Uh, if you didn't really play that much, you're probably not going to be seen on this team and that makes things easy on me because i can put aaron Rodgers in honorable mentions whereas tom brady won mvp so he kind of has to be the quarterback man other honorable mentions philip rivers big ben breezes and matt ryan as for running back we got beast mode 97 overall signature series along with frank gore thursday night football edition some honorable mentions adrian alday peterson and Legarrette blunt wide receiver number four we got danny amendola in the slot that we we got the Sean action jacks the speedster at wide receiver number two ted good jr and last but not least the man that doesn't age larry fitzgerald 98 overall position hero some honorable mentions at the wide receiver position we have emmanuel sanders and mike wallace as for tight end we have a guy who's aging like fine wine jimmy graham and behind him we got delaney walker and i know you guys are probably like where's greg olsen well you know he was kind of injured for most of last year so he has to be an honorable mention same with jared cook benjamin watson vernon davis and antonio gates it's time for the defense man as you can see on the screen we have the snake himself that's what des called him don't blame me Wesley Woodyard at MLB number two. Thomas Davis Sr. at a right outside linebacker. At left outside linebacker, we have Terrell Suggs, aka T. I like to see my bacon sizzle. And of course, honorable mentions for the linebacker position, we have Lawrence Timmons, Derek Johnson, Paul Puzlesny, Clay Matthews, Brian Orakbo, and Carlos Dansby. Moving on to the defensive line at right end, we have Julius. It's not a hoagie without some peppers. D tackle number one, we got Dama Kong Tsunami So Behind him we have Calais Campbell. And left end we have Cameron when he sacks you, you gonna be wide awake. Only one honorable mention I could think of for the D-line. Sorry if I'm forgetting anybody, but we have Michael Bennett. Time for the cornerback position. We have Brandon. I'm riding in my car. Jonathan Joseph as CB number four. Terrence Newman in the slot. Akeem Tlaib as CB number two. And then Brent Optimus Grimes as CB number one. Some honorable mentions at the cornerback position. We have DRC himself and Pac-Man Jones. And finally, at the safe position, we have Glover Quinn. I wanted his higher overall card that didn't show up on the auction block, man. Don't call me broke because that's not what happened. And then strong safety, we got Eric Weddle. Three honorable mentions at the safety spot is Antoine Bethea, Mike Adams, and Lardarius Webb. All right, here we go, man. Playing against Dr. THC420. You can't tell me this dude doesn't. Smoke weed every day. But I got to be honest, man. His Steelers uniforms are kind of fire. He also has Juju Smith-Schuster, so he might be a Steelers fan, man. You never know. Anyways, he has Bo Jackson in the backfield. Not sure who his quarterback is. He's going to hit the quarterback draw. Oh, my goodness. When you're dealing with someone that loves running the ball, you just got to be able to stop it and force him to pass he's gonna run the ball right here bro you better relax i don't know if he's taking me lightly maybe that play just works for him but hey now he's in the third and forever situation and we're sending the dogs at him baby brandon Carr with that speed on the edge oh god no he's running the ball what okay please punt it or just be an absolute savage and go for it on fourth down on your very first possession man this is actually really crazy let us see what happens he might go to out routes or corner oh it's corner route no right over the middle grimes what the deflection what a play i have to keep the whole bucket near bro i don't remember any plays i haven't played madden in, in like a week or two bro <laughs> So I'm gonna be a little bit rusty. Uh, let's see what happens, boys. Square, wide open. That's a bullet, though. Ted, good, no! He fumbled the run. 
fuck are you serious? Niggas give me the cold shoulder, I can speak for myself. So I keep a hot waist and alligator the belt. Ain't got a belt with the holster. I ain't playing games, but got some little niggas who would do it. So I pass the controller. Oh, we got it right back. T-Sizzle. Let's get it, boy. That's what we do. All right, there's one play I actually remember vividly. It is this one right here from my favorite formation, bro. I, I just need points. I'm tired of this turnover battle. Let's make something happen, baby. X wide open. That's what I'm talking about, Jimmy. Here we go, baby. Middle of the field is looking wide open. Marshawn, Beast Mo, Lynch, fire your blockers, baby. Make something good happen. Staying in the same formation for this humongous third and three right here. Come on, boys. Tom Brady is going to put the ball in the money. It's just up to you to make the catch, baby. Let's make it happen. Come on, Jimmy Graham. I see you, man. Oh, nice hit. Nothing wrong with taking a three, man. We're going to go ahead and take the lead as long as this goes right through the uprights. Defense doing an amazing job so far. Got to be honest, man. We got two stops. Looking to make it number three in the first quarter alone, man. He's throwing the ball right here. Let's see what he has open. Oh, that was risky, bro. Continue testing me. Throw it right to my user every time. Yes, that is a, a recipe for success. Trust me. <laughs> I'm not being sarcastic. Oh, okay. Well, maybe you could just run the ball too. That works. Here comes a humongous third and 10, man. This dude does not like hulling up he's been pretty much running no huddle the entire drive let's see what he has in store for us this time nothing sit down so he forced this man to punt defense once again doing their job it's time for the offense to add to our lead baby first and 10 single back formation tom brady looking to air the ball out come on triangle please go upfield tom brady on the run throwing an absolute bullet to djx this offense cannot be stopped right now unless it's in the red zone, um, which is where we're almost at. Anyways, first and 10, Marshawn Lynch with the cutback. Marshawn Beast Mo Lynch going to give us a two-possession lead. Why not start off drive number two with some NFL news? And Dom Kong Su says Aaron Donald deserves more than what he got, man. You got to be happy the way players are sticking up for other players. He wasn't past the line right there. But if you're a Rams fan or NFL fan in general and you're mad at players for holding out for more money, just look at what happened to other guys guys that got injured to guys that are getting cut from their team like there's no loyalty when it comes to this stuff so i'm all for players holding now again as much money as possible because you never know when your your, your career can end like you just got to get your money when you can oh okay marcus mariota swerving on people but he fumbles the ball give me that you see he didn't realize you gotta put on conservative bro after my fumble i, I put that thing on conservative man the quickness in which i flipped that switch brother you should have seen it man it was crazy anyways go upfield tom brady about to take off like a Tom Brady, you know he had wheels like this. In other news, Vikings wide receiver Stephon Diggs has agreed to a five-year contract extension. Once again, another guy who deserves it, man. He definitely improved so much. Very good player, man. Look at that pass out of backfield. Marshawn getting close to the first down. Got ourselves a pretty big third and three, and I'm hoping we can go ahead and convert this, man. Looks like it's going to be one-on-one -on -one coverage. I don't know how I feel about that, man. He's really going to leave Larry Fitzgerald in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Are you sure you want to do that? brother easy first down Fitzgerald the old head off to the races gonna give us a three possession lead gotta get this man props for sticking in the game and he has a lot of talent on his team I would not be surprised to see him turn things around in the second half or maybe even right here man look at that tackle from Weddle but if he enters the second half with zero points on the scoreboard it's gonna be tough for him to bounce back from that we're approaching one minute left in the second quarter man Marcus Mariota looking to get some points on the board for his team can he make it happen Keith Smith getting a touch right there picking up a first down for him but still no points on the board clock is ticking he's being very nonchalant about what's happening right here oh my goodness Sean Lee almost learned that this is a very odd approach like he's not using any of his timeouts he's not doing no huddle which is what he's been doing all game but right there that's a very nice bullet still about i want to say five six yards away from field goal range so uh hopefully defense can clamp up and make sure that does not happen man let's see let us see baby oh god he's going right over the middle that's another nice bullet look at this man making me eat my words clearly he knows what he's doing but can it translate into some points? We about to find out right here, baby. We're about to find out. Big hit by Talib. We want that fumble. So he's going to settle for his three. Get some points on the board before halftime. Nice drive. So not only do we have ball to begin half number two, but we also have a nice 14-point lead, man. Let's see if we can pick up where we left off in the first half, baby. Let's see. What happens? Oh, R1. Why? No. Oh, my goodness. What a bullet to DJX. Tom Brady, you need to relax. I thought for sure DJX was doing a go route. So I let that thing fly, but it ended up he was doing a nice little curl, and that almost was picked off. 
if not for Tom Brady's unbelievable accuracy, I gotta be honest, I, I, that might have been a pick if it was anyone else, baby. Let's go Ted Ginn Jr. with the spin move. I know he's heated after that pass to D-Jax, but I would be very disappointed in my defense for not at least getting a hand up. We're going to the halfback stretch. Look at Beast Mode once again. He cannot be stopped. And that's going to be the rage quit. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do not forget to give me a big old thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe for new around here. Mad 19 is right around the corner. That's why these videos are short and compact, man. I can only take so much more of Madden 18. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day. And as for me, gotta run when I hit a bird call. Damn, hop in that thing and murk off, swerve off.